So, do river country tents leak? That is the question we're gonna test out today. Storm's coming. Well, hey guys, what's going on? It's Samantha from Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. Today, we are testing out and reviewing the River Country Products Trekker One Person Tent. We got a big old storm on the way, so it's gonna be interesting to see how this thing performs. So this is the River Country Products Trekker One, and this is a trekking pole tent. So you are gonna need to have a couple trekking poles to set this up. The weight on this tent is two pounds and 12 ounces. So it's a super lightweight one person shelter. We're gonna see if it's gonna stack up against the inclement weather. Get the trek and pole tent set up is really easy. First step is make sure you fully stake out the tent. That's what we're gonna do next. Oh boy, that's thunder. I gotta hurry. It is definitely gonna storm. Waiting for rain for a couple weeks to film this video. 2021, the year of the drought. The Trekker One does not come with these trekking poles, but if you wanna set, you can get them from rivercountry.com. I'll put a link in the description where you can pick these up. Or if you have your own trekking pole set, go ahead and use those too. Of course, once you get it staked out and you get your trekking pole set up, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do all these guy lines so that way you have good ventilation and optimal structural integrity. Now there's two guy lines here at the back of the shelter. And what I like to do is put these on the same stick. I'll pull that top one tight, just like that. That way it's gonna hold that vent open when it rains. So we got the River Country Trekker One put up in about five minutes. It didn't take long at all. Now, just to give you some dimensions on that, we have a 48 inch peak height. We have 90 inches long inside the sleeping area and 38 inches wide inside the sleeping area. But we do have a nice reasonably sized vestibule so that you can store your pack and any other gear items that you want to underneath that vestibule to protect them from the storm. All right, are you guys ready to head inside and check it out? And look at that. You've got a full mesh inner on the inside. Now, because this tent has got a full mesh inner, you can go ahead, you can roll up this side vegetable, and we've got some handy dandy chi ties. Keep that open and allow it to vent. And you can actually vent both sides and sleep with the front with just the mesh. If it's a really hot night, you can go ahead and vent with that. And the really nice thing about this tent is that it only uses one trekking pole. So there's less things that you have to jank around with, especially when you're just one person, right? You've got vertical zipper here and then two horizontal zippers. I love that there's a zipper on the inside and the outside and that the zipper operates so smooth. So we've got a fully seam tape floor inside and we've got full seam taping along here and that actually looks like a pretty nice seam tape job there. Same thing, kind of dark, hard to see, but along the head end, very good seam tape. Now there's an area I'm a little worried about. You can see a couple little holes right there, right in the corner. Hopefully we won't get any water through there check the other corner. Initially I was worried about this corner because I could see some light through the corner and you can't really tell in the video but when I touch it it's actually seam taped so that should be fully waterproof. Everything seam taped even these little holes here. Even this little hole here that's seam taped over so we should be okay. The tent does seem pretty spacious and because I'm only five foot two I can actually fit my pack over there at the foot end but for you taller guys you're gonna be using this vestibule here to store your gear. Woo. 
it's gotten quite a bit darker and that temperature has really dropped off. I don't think this storm is that far away. So we can put this puppy to the test. Well, the rain started. It's time to head inside. Uh-oh, the rain's starting to pick up and I think the rain's coming. Oh boy. She's coming down now. Woo! Let's check our seams. Looks like we're okay. Oh yeah, it's working good. Oh my gosh, I've got like water all over me. I try to go outside to put the GoPro on so I can get some footage from outside. I can't lie. <laughs> I kept getting soaking wet. So I came back in here. This is the driest place in town. It's coming down. It's coming down good. It's raining so hard. I can't even believe it. It's insane. <sighs> well, good morning, guys. Boy, what a night. Those storms were <laughs> intense. That rain was crazy. Let's see. I didn't get wet. Oh, no water up there. Oh, you know, I can't believe that this tent stayed dry through all of that crazy downpour last night. That was nuts. All right, so it's review time. I was really impressed with this little tent. This tent stayed dry and it did a great job. One of the things that I appreciate about the Trekker One are these lightweight aluminum heavy duty tent stakes. And these are nice ones. They have a little ridge right here where it will catch your guy line and we have that triangular design so it's really going to grip the ground which means when it gets windy it's less liable to pull it out and i had no issues with those 50 mile per hour winds that we had last night with any of these guy out points coming unstaked or being loose the rain fly on the tent doesn't seem to have sagged at all which is awesome sometimes these Nylon materials can kind of absorb water and they can kind of sag when they get wet over a long period of time. But this one didn't do that. Maybe a little bit of sag right here, but not too bad. And the guy outlines here are still pretty tight, which means that all of the vents are open and I didn't have any condensation issues inside the tent as well, which is a really good sign because the temperature did get a little bit chilly last night during that storm. The other reasons that this tent is such a highly rated tent is because of the price to weight ratio. This tent, spring 2021, is available for $49.95 and it has a weight of two pounds, 12 ounces. For that price, the weight on this tent is excellent, making it a superb option for entry level backpackers. The other reason I really like this tent is because it has a nice spacious vestibule. I was able to keep my pack and all my items in that vestibule and the vestibule kept my gear dry which is really important because nobody wants to put on a soppy wet pack the next morning. If you're a first-time backpacker or you're thinking about maybe taking your first trip I strongly urge and recommend you to check out the Trekker 110. This is an excellent option. After weathering a night in some pretty inclement conditions, how would I rate the River Country Products Trekker 1 backpacking tent? This tent earns a score of five out of five pros. And that is an accolade that is pretty tough to get on this channel because I put this gear through the most rigorous testing that way when you purchase something after I've recommended it, you can rest assured it's going to perform for you the same way that it performed for me in this video. So I'm going to put links in the description below if you guys want to check out this tent. 
River Country also does make a two-person trekker tent. I'll pop that link in the description below as well in case you want a little bit extra room. But we will see you guys on the next one.